Hello everyone, welcome to Link Frequency and I'm Ashwarya Pattab. This video is part of our new series which mainly focuses on Otisa interview questions. Each part includes three Otisa questions along with the answer which significantly enhances your preparations for the upcoming interviews. So without any further delay, let's begin with part 15 video of Otisa interview questions. Alright, we are back to a screen where you can see Otisa interview question part 15 along with the three questions represented on the screen. Without any further delay, let's begin with our first question which basically states Explain init runnable, periodic runnable and server runnable. Well, you can answer to this particular question in the following format. In Otisa, runnables are the basic units of execution within a software component. It has specific types such as init runnables, periodic runnables and server runnables. Let's look into each of them individually. The first one is init runnables. Init runnables are executed during the initialization phase of the system, typically when the system is powered on or a component is started. They are triggered by the Autosar runtime environment that is RTE at a predefined point in the system startup process. Init runnables are configured to be invoked at a specific initialization stage such as post startup or pre-operational phases. They are part of the system's life cycle management, ensuring all necessary startups are done before the system starts normal operation. Now moving on to our second one that is periodic runnables. Periodic runnables are executed based on a fixed timing schedule ensuring consistent periodic execution. They are triggered by the RTE based on the periodic timer configured in the system. The exact timing is defined by the developer and based on system's requirements. For example, a 100 millisecond cycle time means that runnable will execute every 100 milliseconds. Moving on to our last one that is server runnables. Server runnables are invoked in response to client request in a client-server communication model. They are triggered when a client port sends a request to the server port. The operations provided by the server runnable are defined in the port interface and the runnable is linked to those operations. This kind of runnables allow for synchronous operation where the client waits for the server to complete the requested task and return a response. Well, this was all about our first question. Now, let us quickly jump into our second question which basically states, What are the use cases of above-mentioned runnables? Well, you can answer to this particular question with four use cases for inner runnables. The first one is initializing a Canvas interface to ensure it is ready for communication when the main application starts. The second point is initializing hardware components such as setting up communication interfaces. The third point is allocating and initializing resources for memory buffers. And the last point is setting initial states for software components. Now let us move on to our second one that is periodic runnables. The first point is regularly reading of sensor data. Consider for example like reading data from a temperature sensor at regular intervals to monitor change over the time. And the second point is periodic activation of control signals. Last point for periodic runnable is continuous monitoring and processing of task. Moving on to our last runnable that is server runnable. The first use case under server runnable is executing specific operations or services requested by other components. The second use case is performing calculations or actions based on client request. The last use case under server runnable is providing data or state information on demand. For this, consider an example, a client requests the current speed on the speedometer component which calculates and returns the value. Well, this was all about our second question. Now, let us quickly jump into our last question which basically states, what are ports in Otisa? Otisa ports are interfaces that enable communication between the software components within an Otisa-based automotive system. They facilitate the transfer of data and invocation of services ensuring cohesive interaction among the components. There are two main types of ports that is sender receiver and the next one is client server. Sender receiver ports are used for asynchronous data exchange allowing one component to send the data to multiple receivers. Whereas on the other hand client server ports facilitate synchronous communication where the client requests a service and waits for the server's response. Port interfaces define the data type and operations that port handle ensuring consistency and compatibility. Ports are configured by Autosar tools where their properties and attributes are specified. So this was a short description for our third question. If you want to know more about Autosar related topics then you can surely check out our Autosar playlist on linked frequency. Well this was part 15 video of Autosar interview question series. I hope you found the video insightful. For any queries you can surely comment below in the comment section. Until we meet on our next video, happy learning. Tune yourself to make a difference.